So this question starts off with this equation here. It says 2 times kx minus n is equal to negative 28 fifteenths x minus 36 over 19. The question goes on to say in the given equation k and n are constants and n is greater than 1. The equation has no solution. What is the value of k? Okay, so there's a lot of things going on here. The equation has no solution. So what does it mean for an equation to have no solution? So this means that the variables, in this case, the only variable we have is x, right? Because k and n are constants. So the variables generally cross out. Again, for us, that just means x crosses out. And by crosses out, I mean as we go through the process of simplification here, the x will just cross out. Like we won't be able to avoid it. And second of all, whatever remains, so whatever numbers remain, what remains is not true. That was a bit harder to explain without you seeing it, but let's, let's go through this and see if we can figure out how to hit both of those targets, given that the question says that the equation has no solution. So to do that, I am going to distribute this 2 so that I have 2kx minus 2n equals negative 28 fifteenths x minus 36 nineteenths. In order for, again, in order for it to have no solution, my first and most important part of this actually that the variables cross out. So let's think about that. I have an x term here, I have an x term there. I know k is some constant, I don't know exactly what it is. So in terms of combining like terms, I would need to add 28 fifteenths x to both sides of this equation, giving me 2kx plus 28 fifteenths, 2kx plus 28 fifteenths x. I would probably also add 2n to both sides just to get them away from the x. So I'd have that that is equal to negative 36 over 19 plus 2n. Again, n is some other constant that we don't know. So here's how I utilize my knowledge of what it means that the equation has no solution and what, you know, the, the steps of how to find that. I'm going to force these things to happen, right? So first of all, I'm going to force the variables to cross out. How do I do that? Well, in order for 2kx plus 28 15x to cross out, 2k has to equal negative 28 fifteenths. Now, that should make sense because if 2k equaled negative 28 fifteenths, what we would have down here is a negative 28 fifteenths x plus 28 fifteenths x, and they would cancel each other out, right? So I'm forcing this to happen because the question told me it must happen. There's no solution. So now to solve for k here, I am, I'm going to actually multiply by the reciprocal instead of dividing by 2, just because I have a fraction on the right-hand side. So that gets rid of my 2. I have just a k here. I can cross, do some cross-canceling here. 2 goes into itself once. 2 goes into negative 28, negative 14 times, and I'm left with negative 14 over 15. There's my answer. That's what k has to equal. And you'll see that the result of all this is this entire left-hand side is just 0, and then it's going to equal negative 36 over 19 plus 2n. And the fact that n has to be greater than 1 will automatically make sure that this doesn't cross out, and it's some value that obviously does not equal zero, right? So this will not be a true statement no matter what n is. No matter what n you plug in here that's greater than one, it will never be equal to zero. So that'll be the, the second part of this, which says what remains is not true. So there's our answer, negative 14 fifteenths.